You want to tell us what happened? I was playing football. Friend here, Dylan, threw the football to me, and obviously I can't catch very well, so <laughs> that's what happens. All right. So, well, we have an X-ray. Of that finger shows a dorsal dislocation of the middle phalanx onto the proximal phalanx. So what are your plans? My plans are to do a metacarpal block of the fifth digit, followed by a reduction of this of the dislocation. You should feel special. You're putting on camera. My assistant here, Dr. Kasha, will be the one doing the, the reduction. I will go ahead and do the, the metacarpal block here. His is a little bit more complicated just because his finger is slightly contracted and uh, has a slight <laughs> deformity, or at least from the contractures of the tendons um, over the metacarpal head, so I'll be the one doing that block. We'll be using 1% lidocaine without epinephrine. Hold and a 27 gauge needle for the injection. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to turn the hand the other way. Yeah, he's going to dislocate his elbow in the process here, but go ahead and kind of wipe it off here right at the metacarpal head. Coming around behind what you want to do is you want to locate where the metacarpal head is. This is a little difficult because of how his fingers are turned. You want to get find the metacarpal head. I'm sorry, buddy which here is a slightly past the, the crease. I'm going to go ahead and rub it down a little bit with alcohol. And what you do is you take the needle. And you go down to the metacarpal head. And then you start back and you back out slightly because now you're right over the nerve. And then kind of draw just a touch of blood. And then Inject approximately one cc right over that as you withdraw. And it's gonna burn there, buddy. Sorry. Yeah, I know that's hurting. So approximately one cc of lidocaine. The hand can hold much more than the sides of the finger, so you can actually use a little bit more. But I use about one cc. How'd that feel? Burns, huh? Invigorating. And I usually kind of just rub it in at that point. Indubitably, <laughs> my good sir. You feel anything starting to kick in on you? Mm -hmm. Yep. Now your finger's not hurting as much? Not as much. <laughs> and we'll just wait here and it may just, it's going to stop here in a second. And I've now gotten a telephone call in the middle of this. Isn't that, isn't that what's supposed to happen? Telephone yep. calls? Mm -hmm. Yes, the telephone call in the middle of the procedure. Oh, I'm starting to numb out. Yeah, I can it's, still feel it slightly. Let me flick it. <laughs> I can't really feel that. Ah, yes, I can feel that. Is it numb? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, how's that when we're pushing on it? Anything? Yeah. I can feel it around in here. Okay. All right. Okay. So for the reduction, we're going to go ahead and actually start proximal over the, the extensor tendons. We're just going to pull on them and kind of really get some traction on it because they're shortened down now and then once we get to that it should pop in pretty easily otherwise you're kind of forcing it over so are you going to do a hyper extension yep basically okay. so go ahead and we'll get down to it once you get there you should be you should just feel it pop in mm. okay all right nice. we're good Hey, <laughs> I can bend my finger now, guys. Oh yeah, that that's gonna hurt in the morning. <laughs> Hold it up. Hey everybody, I can bend my finger now.